Nikki de Saint Phalle, Sun God, 1983. The Sun God was the very first work in the Stewart collection. Nikki has always worked in, in these bright, wonderful colors and making figures and monsters and birds, dinosaurs, uh, creatures of the world in a fanciful kind of way. For us, she chose to have this sun god, she called it, um, a bird, a welcoming bird for the campus, actually facing west. The bird was made in France and came in an open slatted crate across the ocean and down the freeway. And it was quite a sight coming down the freeway. And then we craned it or flew it to the base. Since nothing like this had ever happened on campus before, there was a mixture of response. Some delight, some distress, and some dismay. So I was quite nervous about the response. And so I came to school very early the morning after it had gone up and saw that there was no graffiti or no apparent damage, but there was a big object under the arch. It became clear that it was an egg. Some students, presumably students, had made this egg and said happy birthday on it. So that was the first and wonderful response to this bird. The next year, the students started the Sun God Festival. That was 1984, and it has become and has been for some time the biggest undergraduate event of the year here on campus. And the Sun God itself has become a kind of informal mascot or icon uh, for the university. Uh, Nikki's an artist uh, who, along with her uh, former husband and, and, and close friend throughout her life, is uh, extremely well known throughout Europe, especially in France. She was a kind of national treasure in France over the last 40 or 50 years, along with Jean Tingley. Uh, this is her first piece, uh, the first piece that was commissioned in, uh, in uh, the United States. Nikki moved to San Diego in the 1990s. Uh, partly because of the weather and because uh, of her problems uh, with rheumatoid arthritis, which she had acquired uh, after years of working with toxic substances like fiberglass. Uh, this piece was not fabricated by her. The enlargement of it was not done by her, of course. It was done by a uh, company called Aligon. Uh, Robert Aligon fabricated it, and uh, his uh, father and uh, grandfather uh, worked for artists of previous generations, including Rodin. Uh, it's a family of uh, artisans uh, or fabricators in France uh, that has worked for French artists and other artists for many, many generations. The bird is made of fiberglass. It has a steel structure inside. It's painted with a gel coat, which is a urethane uh, uh, paint, a catalyzed paint in uh, many colors, exactly uh, replicating the model that she herself painted, a model that's in plaster. The bird is uh, covered in gold leaf.